Hi guys, I'm back, and um, to kick off the start of my new series, I'm going to drop that intro on the TV. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Cartoon Reviews and Stuff. This is Mr. Imagination, here with my grandma. Say hi, grandma. Hi, grandma. Uh, I didn't mean that literally. And, 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 and today, we're go going to re review a show that not a lot of people liked. It was famous, but now it's dead, and my grandma likes it. That's right, we're talking about Fred today. And now, um, for those of you who don't know, Fred was a, one of the very first YouTube series to store sort of new heights. It was made in the early days of the channel, and its, its creator and star, Lucas Cruikshank, made a fortune, well, not literally, making new videos. He even appeared on iCarly. Isn't that amazing, Grandma? Very amazing. Yeah, but since this is a review and not a history video, we're here to voice our opinions. All right, Grandma, I'd like your full opinion. Well, I liked the concept of the show. I liked it. The voice was a little off-putting for me. So, how do you feel about Fred the show? Well, like I say, the show I, I liked overall, except for the voice. I wasn't fond of the voice. So, how many stars? Uh, three. You heard it here first, folks. Three stars. I on your hand. I think Fred had potential, but he got lost in fame. Yeah, he even got two failed Nickelodeon shows. They failed. He got three movies. They were box office flops. At least John Cena was in one of them. I mean, no, we're shooting. At least John Cena was in his first movie. So, so in a conclusion, what is your rating on Fred the Show? Well, five, three stars out of five. And our altogether rating, we would give it, um. And and for my grade rating, I would give him a B plus. You heard it here first, folks. We reviewed Fred the Show. Tune in next time for another episode of reviews and stuff.